Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Ni Hastu Sapapa. Sorry, tongue tied, obviously. And I'm here to do uh, readings currently on the sign of Sagittarius. So let's get you guys' this cards shuffled up. Oh. All right. So let's see what's popping in here. Divine forces of unconditional love, light, peace, wealth, health, prosperity, and everything good, nice, wonderful, positive, and lovely. What does the sign of Sagittarius need to know for their heights? Good. Uh, family, please know that these readings are general. Take what applies. Let the rest fly. Yeah? Yeah. Queen of Fire, taking control, taking back control in your life. New beginning, and you taking back control, and then you doing, and you doing so, you're, you're manifesting. You're manifesting, you know, communication from spirit. did just see the devil card there um, perhaps manifest the messages from spirit that will help you to overcome temptation help you to overcome codependency and uh, talk the toxicity in your life all right oh ooh, look at that so we have the king of water came out with the justice card so there could have been a toxic love relationship, a toxic love relationship that um, you're receiving justice on or you're receiving justice in love, uh, receiving justice with uh, someone that you love very deeply. Seven of uh, earth on the bottom of the deck, you want, you're wanting to invest in this deep love that you have for someone or something. Um, you know, the justice card can represent legal matters as well. Um, and then we have the hermit card here, which is Virgo. King of water could be a water sign. Virgo, uh, I mean, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So you could be, uh, you could have had a deep love with a Virgo. You were receiving justice in that. Maybe that could be a divorce legal um, situation or uh, just receiving justice in that love situation. Don't know if this, it was a good one or a bad one just yet. But we can, let's, uh, but the Hermit card does represent um, go on with the end. Oh, okay. So, again, it could have been a divorce since we have the five of earth here, which is the walking away, that abandonment card. And um, I did get the energy of possibly manipulation. So you're getting justice from a, uh, from the energy of manipulation, possibly from a Virgo or uh, vice versa. Maybe the, a Virgo is receiving justice from, you know, uh, there, there was just some perhaps manipulation in the area of love right that uh, caused an abandonment you know caused uh, a breakup to happen a breakup to manifest you know the hermit card is going within and doing some soul searching and receiving enlightenment maybe you received enlightenment on this uh, long-term relationship that you were in that it was time to move forward and to move on the magician card can represent manipulation as well. So you're walking away from some manipulation. Page of fire. So this could be uh, your inner child, or this could be you acting immaturely as the five of fire. I'm sorry, as the page of fire uh, can represent immature energy and fire, wand, fire sign, um, Sagittarius. 
or this could be a new beginning and passion coming here after this, after you walking away. There's a full moon here, so this is another card. Could, could also be another card um, with the energy of manifesting. You're manifesting a new beginning, one that you're passionate about. Okay, um, look at here. Eight of Cups, the center of your reading, is walking away. So you're in the Eight of Cups represents walking away to your Ten of Cups. And, you know, it doesn't mean that you're walking away because something was broken. It's just not fulfilling anymore. It's not putting you, uh, you know that it's not going to get you to where you want to be. You're walking away, perhaps, bottom of the deck. Um, it's drama, maybe walking away from some drama, you know, perhaps, like I said, manipulation. Four of Wands. Again, that's the marriage card. Like I said, it could have been a divorce, walk, divorcing. And even though there was that you weren't happy in this situation, it still is not easy facing this abandonment. The magician again in manifestation, you've manifested this walking away. Even though you manifested it, it's not easy. Here with the Eight of Swords energy coming out it's still not easy and so you have yourself in this um, stagnant energy but this is all self-inflicted remember the eight of um, swords speaks about you know being tied up in this self defense defeating energy and, and we know that if it's self-defeating you can always change that by speaking life into your experience but maybe somehow or some way you feel like you have to punish yourself for doing what you know you needed to do you know yeah it hurt but it's something that you needed to do that you must do you wasn't finding fulfillment in the uh, relationship but then we have here the death card transformation. Seem like you will be coming out of that energy soon. You've punished, punished yourself enough, exactly, and you're releasing the burden tent of fire. You're releasing that heavy burden of guilt. that you know came from you walking away from perhaps a Virgo and this time that you've spent in this eight of source energy this time alone perhaps you did analyze everything and receive the enlightenment that you needed to go ahead and let things go once and for all and begin your new life page of fire ten of air freeing yourself we have the ten of fire and the ten of air again it was not it was not easy to walk away to manifest walking away from this marriage and it put you in this eight of swords energy but you're freeing yourself you're transforming this heavy burden you know you're transforming this ten of swords of this heavy mental um Turmoil. This is mental turmoil. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. Freeing yourself from lying to yourself. Freeing yourself from the lies. Again, there was manipulation and maybe this person was lying to you. Freeing yourself from the lies. All right, let's get more clarity on the King of Water, Justice. There was deep love in this relationship, you know, it was deep love there. But we have the messenger of earth. So that's slow moving, 
like I said, you know, delayed. It took a minute for you to, to walk away. Hermit card, let's get more clarity on the, uh, let's actually give me one more card on the King of Water, Justice card. Give me one more. Moving on to calmer waters. This could also be like the initiation card. Slowly but surely, you found the courage and the strength to walk away, to know that there's something better for you, something else better for you out there. Perhaps another earth sign. We do have the Queen of Earth here. Or this could be you just walking away from a Queen of Earth onto calmer waters. Another Earth sign. Taurus, uh, Virgo, or Capricorn. Give me clarity on the Hermit card. And like I said, we already know that you're moving on slowly but surely because, you know, you've been punishing yourself. <laughs> Page of Water. Which is, you know, new beginning in love. Um, could also be immature energy in regards to love. Perhaps this Virgo was very immature in, in the way that they handled the relationship. So, um, spirit guides, council of light. Um, thank you. Is this page of water immature love? Thank you. Is this page of water a new beginning with the Virgo? No. So, perhaps a Virgo gave you immature love and you are a hermit card and, you know, looking at the things, um, going within the hermit mode and uh, seeing things, breaking things down, very detailed, and, and real coming to the realization that you know you were receiving an immature love, someone that wasn't truly fulfilling you. Period. Give me one more on this hermit card. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Earth. This is, again, a new beginning, uh, one that's prosperous. Bottom of the deck, hope and guidance, healing. You've been, you're being in healing, you know, you're being guided to heal this, to walk away, six of earth, justice, perhaps uh, the justice for you know, the manipulation in this immature love is you walking away, Six of Swords, you know. So, I mean, Ace of Earth, you're going to be, receive, um, this could be you receiving um, gifts and abundance from walking away. Or this could be, you know, like a gift from spirit and guidance. Remember, we did have this, the um, the star card on the bottom of, of the deck. So this could be that, you know, communication from spirit and help and, and saying, okay, it's time for you to, to walk away. Five of Earth, Magician. Give me clarity on the Five of Earth and Magician card. Give me two cards. Look, that's the Hierophant. You're walking away. You manifested walking away from a marriage. The Hierophant card does represent a, a deep commitment. It does represent the spirit realm. The spirit realm encouraged this. And look at that. The Fool card. The spirit, your spirit guides, you know, 
encourage you to walk away and to take this leap of faith to walk away. Page of fire. But you're being stubborn, right? Or you were being stubborn. Give me clarity on the page of fire. Yep, page of air. Two pages. Three pages all together. Yep, you were being stubborn. Like I said, the messenger of earth, it took you a while. Like I said, you, you know, you got the message. You know, you got the message of what action to take, the insight that you needed, what you needed to do to heal. But you were confused, you know, it's, it was chaotic. I mean, you did what you needed to do. But again, it was chaotic. It, it took a while for you to make that decision. But you finally did, eight of water. Perhaps there was a third party. I just saw the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. Uh, give me clarity on the eight of water. Three of earth. So again, that could also be another, you know, um, Could be third party, but this could be you walking away and rebuilding yourself because I do see the eight of earth on the bottom of the deck. You're working to rebuild yourself after walking away because, again, this was a long term relationship. This, this was someone that you really love deeply. And you didn't want to hurt them, but time had just run its course. Give me more. the lovers you walked away from this love but now it's time for you to build yourself back up to forgive yourself give me clarity on the four fire I don't know how this camera has shifted or what angle you guys are you may be watching from. Like it took a lot for you to walk away from this love. But you're taking Ace of air. It took you a lot, again, to walk away from this love. And you did have yourself in this uh, guilt energy. But we have the ace of air. And this is that, that, again, message from spirit of clarity. That you need to get your ass back on your feet, emperor. To get back control of your fucking life. Stop deceiving yourself into thinking like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have walked away or um, or whatever. This deception energy saying, oh, well, I know I hurt this person real bad. Now I need to hurt myself by secluding myself and being in this guilt energy. Give me clarity on the death card, but you're ending that and this, you're transforming. Here you go, Sagittarius card coming out along with the Queen of Air. You're cutting out those things that are no longer serving you. That guilt, this immature energy, that's, you know, page of air energy saying that you don't deserve healing, this confused energy. You're cutting that out and you're releasing the burden. Ten of fire here. Releasing the burden. Guys, I am so sorry. I do not know how this camera...
camera is recording or what angle it's hidden from. But just give me clarity on this Ten of Wands, releasing the, the heaviness and the burden. That came with walking away. And honoring your true self, because we have the Queen of Water on the bottom of the deck, which is, you know, being true to your authentic self. Releasing that. You don't have to be in guilt because you stood your ground for what you knew was right. What what you knew needed to be done. You know, you walked in logic, not so much emotion. Emotion is what kept you around for so long. Ten of Earth. Abundance will come from you releasing that burden. This could also represent that family card, overcoming generational curses and building a generational legacy. You know, that generational curse could have been, you know, uh, codependency, just being in a relationship, just to be in it because you're comfortable. No, you're standing your ground and you know, and you're thinking more logically with your mind and not your heart. And you're, you know, manifesting that ending and a new beginning and self-love. You're freeing yourself. Give me clarity of the, you know, clarity of this Ten of Swords, Ten of Air energy. Exactly. Achieving balance. Freeing yourself so that you can be in a relationship that is going to give you what you put in, not an unrequited relationship. One that's full of manipulation and lies. Redefining what love is and drawing that in to your life. Destiny, the will of fortune, is moving in your, in your direction. New beginnings, new adventure is the overall. So let's get some um, Oracle cards out here for you so you can get more clarity, more messages. So these are two different decks that I've combined. That's why it's quite difficult to shuffle. I mean, because each deck has a different thickness to it, so... Yeah. How about cut it in half? Show for that a couple times. Shuffle this side. And then shuffle both sides together. See what comes out for you. Have a limited time before this uh, before this camera cuts out. Don't look like anything wants to come out for you. Edge. Lighthouse. Don't doubt your work. Bottom of the deck. Well, not bottom of the deck, but the picture that she's hanging on the wall says, I'm always enough. 
and the lighthouse guides you in, right? And, you know, throughout the message, I was saying that spirit is guiding you away from this toxic relationship. She even has a lantern on the shelf there. Angel of diet and nutrition. So maybe we need to focus on your uh, diet or, you know, what you put in your uh, body food wise or even you know through the radio or tv just the things that you feed your mind it says pay attention to what you eat and drink you intuitively know what is good for you so this could be you thinking more positive thoughts right again not beating yourself up for standing your ground for what you truly believe in standing your ground for what you truly want out of a relationship and being honest with yourself and knowing that you can't receive it where you are were anymore so we got a few cards out castle it's time for healing not war stop fighting yourself and allow this healing to come in goddess of strength you have goddesses around you that's letting you know that you are strong enough to handle this. Stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground, being true to your authentic soul. Escape is come home to yourself, you know. Maybe you've been used to being in, uh, in that marriage and coming home to somebody, but now you're coming home to yourself and it's time for you to embrace this new energy that you're uh, coming into. It says everyone wants to escape their lives occasionally. This is about you facing the, what it is and dealing with it. Some of us like to binge watch shows. Some of us like to listen to music. Some of us like to read uh, or leave it all behind and go on vacation. All of this is totally healthy. Our lives can get incredibly stressful, which, you know, it is stressful going through a divorce. But however, too much escapism. Maybe you guys are trying to escape too much Eight of Swords energy. Spirit Guide is saying, uh-uh, it's time for you to take back control. Get back in it with this Emperor energy. Stop trying to run away from it. Deal with it. How, however, too much escapism can mean that you're not confronting a big problem, which isn't healthy for you. Diet and nutrition, right? Face it head on and let the pieces fall wherever they may. Know that the Goddess of Strength has you, right? And will be and will it will it's covering you, goddess of compassion. Exactly. Self criticism is diminishing your uh, self criticism is diminishing your sense of self worth. Stop criticizing yourself for doing what you know you needed to do. Angel of new life, exactly. An exciting new chapter in your life is about to unfold. Look forward to this newness. Okay. Stop beating yourself up. That other person will be all right. Know that. Goddess of oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. And so there could be, you know, other people ready to be uh, in a relationship with you. But, you know, take, the, take your time that you need to take to heal. But you must face the situation. You can't run from it and try to escape it. Angel of healing. Angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing, okay? So that someone thinking fondly of you could be your spirit guides and ancestors. Clover, exactly. Release your guilt. Isn't that what, I've, what the reading has been about, what I've been talking about? Release your guilt, let's read it. Expand your thinking past you know punishing yourself you've been carrying the burden of guilt on your shoulders for far too long Sagittarius it's now negatively impacting all facets of your life and making it impossible to function you've come to a crossroads where you need to choose a direction go ahead and make your reparations or release yourself from the cage you've built around yourself eight of air hint sometimes the first road leads back around to the second See goddess of beauty here at the end says there's a wonder you are a wondrous being of light there's nothing to change or fix 
accept yourself again. You didn't do anything wrong by choosing yourself and walking away. Feast, celebrate, slow down and celebrate yourself. Celebrate the strength that you embodied in walking away. Look at that, look at that. Slow down and celebrate yourself, feast. And then right after that, we have God of indulgence. It's all right, stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence in balance is, in balance is healthy. So go ahead, celebrate yourself, you know? Stop beating yourself up. It's okay. Everything will be all right. Nostalgia. Focus on the here and now. Okay. Angel of soul love. Time to look at how you value yourself. Issues and self-love. Exactly. Stop beating yourself up. Focus on the here and now. Angel of manifestation. Bottom of the deck. Your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. You're going to be rewarded. Okay, stop beating yourself up. Let's read this in nostalgia card and then we can end the reading. You're spending the majority of the time daydreaming, wondering what could have been if only things had gone the way you wanted. By doing this, you aren't giving yourself a fair chance. Come through. So what the whole reading been about. Truth is, there's nothing you can do to change what happened. No matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind, make improvements to your present. Okay not your imaginary be sure to nurture what you've been given and then that's followed by the angel of soul love time to look at how you value yourself issues of self-love hey I, there's nothing else i can say uh, other than sorry if this you're watching this from a skewed perspective or you know angle this camera is doing whatever the fuck it wants to do, obviously. But anyway, um, it's about to stop on me. So I'm going to go ahead and end it. I love you all. And until next time, peace.